Okay, I got a iPhone 6 here, and the guy told me that it doesn't t turn on. Put it on the Porta Pal, zero amp draw, um, and I confirmed it when I received it. So, first thing I'd normally do is, since it's the easiest, I check for a short on VCC main. And the easiest way to do that is to get the logic board over here and the back of it near the Wi-Fi chip up here. That seems to burn out quite often. So what I normally do is I stick a multimeter on there on continuous and it beeps. So that tells me that there's a short to ground on VCC main. So the next thing I do is I go to ZXW and look to find out what is connected to VCC main. All right. So there's, as you can see, there's a ton of components here. So you can't lift and pull all of them. So what I normally do is I just look at it under a microscope and see if visually if there's anything that stands out to me. And what I'm looking for is something that's uh, burnt out, uh, you know, obviously burnt out and uh, So you kind of just go through the whole board here with all the, look at all the red spots there and just kind of quickly visually look through the whole board and see if you see anything that stands out. Okay. So what I notice is, okay, so if you look around here, nothing here looks unusual. Um, go over here, nothing looks weird, nothing burnt out. So I've already gone through the whole board already. Okay, this is the Tiger's chip right here. Nothing looks weird. Flip it over. Um, this looks a little bit heated to me, so that may be um, a problem. So I'll just kind of note that in my head. And then up here, this is what I noticed too. You see that right there? Kind of zoom in a little bit. Two beads of solder there, okay. And this is actually, this is definitely VCC main, part of VCC main here. So, you know, this, when I desoldered the shields, this could have come out, possibly. But, my guess is that the heat melted the solder somehow, so, I think this is the first thing I'm going to do. VCC main. So I'm going to remove these two components and see if the fault still exists. Okay. So when you have a short to ground on VCC main, it's most likely a cap that is shorted. But there's probably about 20, 30 caps that are connected to VCC main. So it's it's uh, not impossible, but it's very time consuming to remove all the caps and test them and then put them back, you know. So this is the easiest way. So what I'm going to do, so this is number one right here. And then number two would be this puppy right here. But this is a big guy, so I, I don't think this is going to burn out here. So we'll remove this and see if the short goes away, and uh, we'll go from there. What I normally do is put a one inch capped on tape around the entire area and then I'll just cut a little hole where I'm going to be working. You want to protect anything that's plastic because it will melt.
So this stuff is underfill here, so you really want to get rid of it before you start melting stuff because once it mixes with the solder, it's going to be um, it's not going to make the solder melt very well. Oh, see, that's already lifted. So my guess is that was probably the problem right there. So I think this is going to be an easy fix, hopefully. Make sure you don't take any of the components with it, otherwise it's going to be a nightmare. These are 01005 components, the smallest of the small. Yep, I think that's it. Alright. So, let's get some flux in here. Always tin the tips of your soldering iron. Right? Okay, so. I'll clean that up later. All right, let's test it first. So, multimeter on continuous, and we want to hear a beep. Beep. Did you hear that? That was definitely the fault. Now, what we're going to do now is um, go over. So, we'll put this aside. So that cab is bad. So, I'm going to flip it over now. See if the short still exists on BCC main. And if this doesn't beep, then we're good to go. Just place the cap. Boom. That was the, that was definitely the fault. Yep. Oh. Yep. That was it. That was it. Boom. So replace it and we should be back in business. So I just want to clean it up a little bit, otherwise it's not going to flow very well. All 
Alright. Q-tip isopropyl alcohol. Clean it up. Get rid of the brown flux because that is not your friend. Okay. So just want to tin it first. Got a nice little bond. Mm, old piece is still on there. That's from the cap that burnt out. Definitely want to get that away. Alright, there you go. There you go. Clean, retin. All right, let's find out what component it is, and then uh, you guys didn't see any of that, did you? All right. So it is this component right here, C1552. It's a 10 mm, microfarad, 6.3 volt, See this? This is from DigiKey. Alright. <laughs> Put a little flux on it. Get my hot tweezers. And
blocks. Gummed up flux, <laughs> no good. Try it again. I'm going to get my FM2027. You really don't want brown flux, but... I'm thinking maybe I'll just heat it. It's not working too well. Pause. Sorry, phone call. Alright. So. Let's tin this sucker. There's too much solder here. I'm going to heat it this time. Clean it first. Alright. 
Out of your gun. Four twenty-five. Stay away from the connectors. And CPU. is part of this. All right, this is solid. So check for the short again. No short. I think this will will be back in business here. So let's clean this sucker up.
Alright, let's test it.